بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. الله عز وجل says to us in the Quran. I'm gonna recite three verses and then inshallah I'll talk about why I recited these verses. Allah says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ولا تمدن عينيك إلى ما متعنا به أزواج منهم زحرة الحياة الدنيا لنفتنهم فيه ورزق ربك خير وأبقى. Allah says, and do not do not extend your eyes looking at those. Those people whom we have given the dunya to, those people whom we have given the splendor, the material things of the dunya, the wealth, the money, the beautiful houses, the, you know, a lot of, don't look at these people. Don't look at them. Meaning, don't look at them with desire. Don't look at them like envying them. Don't look at them wanting what they have. Allah says, we, they have been tested in what Allah, Allah has given them. They have been tested in this. But the provision of your Lord, the, the Jannah, is better, paradise, it is better and it's everlasting. But the dunya, everything that we have in this dunya, is temporarily. So that's the first verse. Another verse Allah says, Allah says to us in the Quran, فَمَا أُوْتِيْتُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَمَتَاعُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ وَأَبَقَى لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ SubhanAllah. وَمَا فَمَا أُوْتِيْتُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ Subhanallah. Allah says, and whatever you've been given in this life, whatever you've been given, beautiful things, good health, money, children, houses, material things, it is but, a, it is but a, a, an enjoyment of this dunya. It is but a splendor. It is but a, a temporary enjoyment in this life. The dunya, because what we know about this life, everything on this dunya will perish. Everything on it. Then look what Allah says. What is with Allah? What is with Allah? Every time Allah talk about the provision that's with Him, that's Jannah. Allah says, What is with Allah? The reward with Allah, the paradise. It is better and everlasting for those who do what? For those who believe in their Lord, in Allah. They believe they worship Allah alone. They believe that Allah alone deserves to be worshipped and they rely upon Allah. They depend upon Allah, these people. Not only do they believe in Allah, but they trust in Allah. They put their trust in Allah Azza wa Jal. So that's the second verse. The last verse I'm going to talk about Allah says, Subhanallah. Allah says, on that day, when the disbelievers will be brought to, to the hellfire, when, they are, when, the, when those who disbelieve in Allah, those who turn away to, from Allah, those who are ungrateful to Allah, those who refuse to worship Allah, when they are brought to the hellfire, it will be said to them, Hey, أَذْهَبِتُمْ طَيِّبَاتِكُمْ فِي حَيَاتِكُمُ الدُّنْيَا وَاسْتَمْتَعْتُمْ بِهَا فَالْيَوْمَ تُجِزَوْنَ عَذَابَ الْهُونَ Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah says, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. That on that day, when the disbelievers are brought to the hellfire, it will be said to them, Hey, you've, you've exhausted, you've eaten up all the good. All the good that was for you, we've given it to you in the dunya. You enjoy yourself in, the, in this life. You enjoy yourself in the worldly life. You had money. You had happiness. You had good health. You had material things. You had nice car. You had everything you wanted. You enjoy yourself in the dunya. That's what you wanted, right? You enjoyed it. So on the day of judgment, there's nothing for you. Just like the other verse when Allah said in the Quran, huh? uh, uh, about those who want the dunya, Allah said, Nu'ti. Nu'ti. I mean, huh? we will give it. We will give him from the dunya. Whatever is decreed for him, he will get it. But guess what? وَمَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ نصيب. But they have no share. They have no reward for them in the year after. Subhanallah. You see, the reason why we said these verses, sometimes we, the believers, those who are patient, those who believe in Allah, those who pray five times a day, those who strive to please Allah, and when they fall into sins, they ask Allah to forgive them. Sometimes the shaitan come and deceive us. The shaitan come and make us feel like, oh my God, look, you're doing all these things. You are a good Muslim. You, you, you pray to Allah. But look, you're going through so much hardship. Look at your life. Look at the kind of job you have. Look at the kind of car you drive. Look at your house. Look. The shaitan. Don't listen to him. This dunya. Allah don't want this dunya for the believers. This dunya. You see this is what Allah wants us. Allah wants the best for us. That's the Jannah. The everlasting life. The place where you will never feel sick. You will never just unhappiness. You will never feel sad. Every day you are happy. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ فِي رَوْضَاتِ الْجَنَّاتِ لَهُمْ مَا يَشَاءُونَ فيها عند ربهم لهم ما يشاءون عند ربهم Allah said they will have whatever they desire from Allah Subhanallah Allah said those, those who believe and do righteous good deeds they will be in the meadows in the meadows of Jannah in the gardens this beautiful flower this beautiful thing in the Jannah that's what they will be in that's what we want 
That's what we want. We want the Jannah. We want the place where we will never die. We will never feel sick. So be patient of what you see in this dunya. Don't look at those people like Allah said. Don't look at these people that Allah has given the dunya to. They are being tested in it. Just like you as the, as the believers. Sometimes the believers go through this, this test of this life. Why? Why? So when you leave this life, you have no sin at all. No sin. The Prophet says, Sallallahu Either أَحَبَّ اللَّهُ قَوْمًا When Allah loves someone, He tests them. فَمَنَ الصَّبْرَ Allah will suffer. When Allah loves people, He tests them. Whoever is patient, will get the reward of the patient one. SubhanAllah. And whoever is impatient, that's what you will get. So we have to remain patient. Don't let this, don't be deceived by this dunya. When you're going through tests, know that Allah Azza wa Jal is cleansing you from your sins. Allah Azza wa Jal, sometimes Allah will test you. You have no sin, but Allah will test you. Why? To raise your status. To raise your status in the Jannah. Some people, Allah has decreed that they will gain a highest level in Jannah. But their action is not enough. So Allah put them through test. Through this test, if they are patient and remain steadfast, their level will go up. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. You may be crying in the dunya. Oh, am I going through this? Why? 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 But wallahi, think good of your Lord. Think good of Allah Azza wa Jal. He has something waiting for you. Only Allah knows. Be patient. InshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.